2017 is coming to a close. Feels like the year has flown by, and it's been full of ups and downs. In the gaming world, we've got both some incredible gems and absolute turds. As is customary this time of year, I will be once again bringing you a list of my favourite games of the year. This will of course be very subjective, so rather than getting irate that you disagree in the comments below, how about you just let me know what your favourite games were? Oh, also bear in mind that I will only be including games that I've actually played, that's pretty damn important. So no matter how good games like Horizon Zero Dawn or Breath of the Wild are, they're not eligible for this list. So without further ado, let's get started. Call of Duty is back on form this year with its return to World War II. This is perhaps the first Call of Duty game that I have thoroughly enjoyed since Black Ops 2. Generally I tend to gravitate mainly towards the single player or more commonly the zombies modes. World War 2 did the unimaginable though and made me love the multiplayer, which is mainly thanks to the brilliant war mode. The zombies was great as well, and the campaign was passable, but war mode was the highlight of this game for me, and the reason I'm still playing it to this day. I was debating including They Are Billions on this list because it's not technically out yet since it's in early access, but considering I've already put over 50 hours into this version alone, I'm totally confident with including it on this list. It's been a long time since I've really gotten into a good strategy game, and They Are Billions is a brilliant strategy game. If you haven't heard of it, basically you are tasked with defending and developing a community in a zombie infested wasteland. And the name isn't just for dramatic effect either, just look at how many zombies attack your base, which is the exact reason then I've never actually finished a game, even on the easiest difficulties. Player Unknown's Battlegrounds was very nearly another early access game on this list, but it was released, very recently in fact, so I have no concern about its inclusion. Perhaps single-handedly responsible for kickstarting the huge battle royale trend, if you don't know what Player Unknown's Battlegrounds is or why it deserves to be on this list, then I guess you're new to the internet, so welcome, friend. Super Mario Odyssey was freaking awesome, but uh, thanks to Nintendo's YouTube policies, that's all the praise it's getting. Prey came out of absolutely nowhere for me, and ended up being one of my favourite single player experiences of the entire year. Despite appearing like a regular old first person shooter, Prey integrated some really unique elements like the glue gun and alien abilities. The story was great as well, taking place on a sprawling space station that developed alongside the story, becoming more and more inhospitable and alien. Weapons felt great, characters were deep and intriguing, but perhaps more importantly, it was just a ton of fun. That is unlike another single player FPS from this year, I'm looking at you Wolfenstein. Assassin's Creed Origins is another game that returns its franchise to form this year. I'll admit it, I have a bit of a weakness for Ancient Egypt, which is definitely one of the contributing factors to my love for this game. But it's far more than just a pretty world. It's deep, has characters and locations with actually interesting and worthwhile stories. The improved combat makes fighting challenging and varied, the new loot system constantly drives you to better yourself, and all of this adds up to make the best Assassin's Creed game since Black Flag, and I only really love Black Flag because of the pirates. I hate 
horror games. Which is why it was such a massive surprise for me how much I loved Resident Evil 7. It's actually the first Resident Evil game I've ever played, so I didn't bring any baggage with me from previous titles. What I got instead was an intense, engaging game with fascinating characters and a story that made me never want to put the controller down. For Christ's sake, I even tried to speedrun this game on stream. That's got to show you just how much I was into Resident Evil 7. Finally, Ghost Recon Wildlands is perhaps my favourite game of the year. I'm not sure if I even really have any criticisms for it. Now that's not to say it's a perfect game, but for me as a gamer, it gave me absolutely everything I wanted and more. I absolutely love the huge, varied open world, there are always interesting places to explore and interesting ways to get there. The gunplay was great, and it was really enjoyable to play tactically, and that's something that holds up in both solo and in co-op. Wildlands has even had really good continued support, with multiple DLC packs and even some free updates including things like Player vs Player, and even the frickin Predator. I bloody love this game. So then guys, there we have it. Those were 8 of my favourite games from 2017. I'm already really looking forward to 2018 and the games coming our way, so do make sure that you stick around on the channel because I'm sure there will be some great content heading your way. Anyway guys, there we have it for another year. Thank you to everyone who subscribed and regularly watches my videos. You guys are the best. Here's to 2018. His name is Luke and he's more than your average gamer. No ordinary let's player. No but Easter eggs much better. Da 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 da. His name is Luke, aka the Roy Gorilla. Even bigger than the giant Godzilla. Follow him in every game he goes. Da da da.